now we'd like to do uh, another one of Laura Andrea's uh, pieces. This one is from uh, our latest recording together. Uh, it's a record called Social Distancing. It was done entirely through on the pandemic, but the tune was recorded earlier than that, um, and we had it and had never uh, put it on a on a proper album. So we released it um, uh, just at the early this year, and uh, this song is uh, has an English title. It that translates into Spanish as well. In English, it's called Any Day Now. And uh, it's over a groove called Lando. And uh, that's a, it's one of the, the most uh, unique of the grooves that comes out of the African diaspora in Peru. So that is a very special sound, uh, over a 12-8 bar, but also with subdivisions that are, that are uh, in uh, quarter notes versus eighth notes. And it's just a very interesting polyrhythm. And, um, and it uses, of course, all, all these instruments that I figured we should share with you in case you're unfamiliar with them. Um, some of the instruments that we play you see all the time, but, but not all of them, right? So, Maestro, ¿qué tal si mostramos los instrumentos rapidito? El, so, you've seen uh, Maestro Bobito pick it up here from time to time. Uh, this is called a quijada de burro. And in English, that means the jawbone of a donkey because that's what it is. It's a jawbone of a donkey. And... Um, you know, bones have been used as instruments uh, dating back to Africa, and uh, you know, the, the essence of music really came from things like this. Uh, but in Latin America, it's used in various countries, but it's only in Peru where it takes on like a virtuosic sort of lead kind of quality. So in the hands of a master percussionist, it can make some very interesting sounds that come from the teeth that are treated so that they'll rattle. Uh, the gums are, are, you know, are chemically taken out and so the teeth rattle. Quiero demostrarlo, maestro. That's a quijada de burro. And then another instrument that is um, unique to Peru, uh, you notice about uh, Afro-Peruvian music is that you don't see any skins on instruments. You know, typically in Caribbean music, you see bongos and congas, and they're, they have skins that are played on these drums. Our instruments are all made of wood, and they don't have any resonators inside of them or anything. And the cajita uh, is a trapezoidal box and doesn't have anything on the inside, um, but the player moves it, um, you know, the lid goes up and down, and by applying different amounts of pressure and speed, uh, you get an amazing array of sounds. And the, the, the history of that instrument is interesting because it, it, it dates back to colonial times uh, in Peru where the Spanish uh, conquerors built churches on top of a lot of the Inca monuments and so forth. And during Catholic church, they would take collection. And it was a lot of the black uh, servants and slaves and that were made to um, take collection in church. And so these boxes were built. Uh, people would drop in uh, their offerings. They had a little slit in the top and a, and a lock on the front. And after hours, those became instruments. Um, and they've evolved, obviously, to not have a slit in the top, but actually something to hold the lid. But it's a very, very uh, old instrument for us. Um, and has kind of that uh, bizarre sort of background to it. And then, of course, the heart and soul of all Afro-Peruvian music is the cajon, C-A-J-O-N. This has become a very popular instrument now around the world. And uh, it is originally a Peruvian instrument. And uh, you've heard it all night. It's a simple wooden box that doesn't have any resonators on the inside. Um, that's what differentiates it from the flamenco cajon built in Spain, um, where they do put resonators like a snare drum on the inside. 
but this instrument is just a very simple wooden box with a plywood front, believe it or not. And again, the hands of a master percussionist like Huevito, uh, very special things happen. So I just thought you might want to know some of that and um, enjoy it you know, a little bit more in depth, um, the last couple tunes that we're going to perform for you. So what have you any any day now? No? So this one is on a Lando groove. Uh, it's called Any Day Now. <laughs> 